Before we start the video guys, you can get your first month of Envato Elements for only $9 via the link below. If you've watched this channel or if you're a video editor, you probably know what Envato Elements is. It's a pretty good deal. Check it out. Every subscription helps the channel. All right, let's get into this video. And how's it going guys? Joshua Lefemme here live from LA. And I'm gonna teach you how to use the Clubhouse app as a video director. This video is gonna be separated into two parts. I'm gonna first quickly show you how to set up Clubhouse. And then I'm gonna show you how to effectively use Clubhouse to network. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Clubhouse is an app that you can get currently just on iPhones right now, but I think they're gonna expand it out soon. And what you can do is you can connect with people from all around the world within these audio group calls, I like to call them. These group calls are specifically segmented into different rooms with a specific topic. It's within these rooms that all the magic happens, but we're gonna to get to that in a sec. First, how to set up your profile in Clubhouse. First things first, you have to choose your name and also choose your alias. Remember, you can only change this once, so make sure you choose it wisely. Right now, my name is Olufemi and my alias is Josh Olufemi. Next, it's time to fill out your profile description. Now, this is where it's important to realize that you cannot hold back. State all of your accomplishments. Don't hold back on any accolades. It's different than Instagram where in your profile description, you wanna keep it you know, short, pithy, witty. It's completely different because in Clubhouse, your description section is basically like a newspaper, basically, that whenever you're talking in a room, um, it gives people an ability to actually get to know more about you. So usually when people are talking in a room, um, everyone in the room is probably clicking on their profile and then just scrolling. And it's kind of like cool reading the profile as the person's talking. You want to give people enough to actually read and convince them finally to actually click that follow. You guys may have to just trust me on this one as far as how Clubhouse culture and etiquette goes. There's nothing more boring clicking on someone's profile and there's like nothing there. And lastly, when you're writing that description, don't write it within the app. You gotta go write it on your notepad in your phone and then copy and paste it into the app. The reason is the formatting is really hard to do inside the app right now. So this just makes it a lot easier. Next, make sure that you add your socials on your profile, whether it be your Instagram or your Twitter or both. This is what confirms with everyone looking at your profile that you are actually who you are. This is almost your way of verifying your account because the only way that you can connect, say, your Instagram account to your Clubhouse profile is actually by logging in to Instagram through your Clubhouse account. There are a lot of new people in Clubhouse that don't have their socials connected to their Clubhouse profile and it just looks kind of sketchy. Their profile just looks empty and you don't know whether it's that person or someone trying to imitate that person. Also, the cool thing about having your socials integrated with your Clubhouse profile is when people scroll down your profile and decide to follow you, they can also click on your social media profiles and follow you as well. Next, make sure that you allow Clubhouse to add all of the contacts on your cell phone because why? Ratios do not matter. Unlike Instagram or Twitter or any other social media platform, ratios at this point don't really matter. What do I mean by ratios? I mean the number of people that you are following compared to the number of people following you. Why doesn't it matter? Because the more people that you actually follow mean the more access to rooms that you have. The more rooms you have access to, the more people you have the ability to network with. And what you're gonna realize too is the longer that you're on Clubhouse is all the people that you follow, it's best to actually make sure that they're kind of aligned with your interests because the type of rooms that you're gonna have access to are gonna be correlated with those people's interests. Uh, next, go into settings, um, put your frequency on normal, make sure that you check include trending rooms, um, make sure to add any interests when they appear, and then also frequently check what is new. There's always new updates to this app, literally on a daily basis. Some of these updates have been actually pretty helpful. So the whole point of Clubhouse is for it to be an effective substitute for in-person networking for whatever industry that you're in. In this case, a lot of us watching this video are associated with music video production. And through networking, we can find new clients, AKA maybe musicians with some pretty good budgets. We can meet with industry heavyweights, which could assist in getting those clients, AKA music video commissioners or production company execs. And lastly, we can use Clubhouse to learn some pretty dope trade secrets or exclusive workflows from industry veterans. Effective networking results in the growth of your Clubhouse following, which in turn results in the growth of your social media following via any social media profiles that you have linked to your Clubhouse account. So what does effective networking look like? I got three tips for you. Number one, make sure that you are an active participant in relevant rooms and clubs. What are clubs? Clubs are basically just houses that house a bunch of rooms that are on a similar topic. 
For example, anyone that is anyone is part of the videographers club. That's videographers with three exclamation marks at the end. It's led up by the amazing Ryan Horstcott. He has a crazy story. It takes a little bit of a process to actually get a club approved by Clubhouse. And so Ryan literally stayed in a room called by the same name for more than 30 days straight. But, the, but this all begs the question, why do you wanna be an active participant in these rooms and clubs? Well, just imagine this, when you're talking in front of an entire room full of people, it's gonna get you on people's radar. And like we said, Clubhouse actively encourages people to follow people that have similar interests so that they have access to new rooms. So think about it, when you're talking, being all engaging, having all these people look at you, they're gonna be looking at your profile, scrolling down at your description, and you're gonna give them enough time to gain interest in you and end up clicking that follow and then maybe even following your social media. And that just builds up. The longer that you're in these rooms, the more people that are gonna cycle in and out, get to know you, hear your voice, follow you. And you'll have someone like even Ryan again. I think Ryan has like 3,000 plus followers just because when you think of videography on Clubhouse, I would say every person that is a videographer on Clubhouse has heard Ryan talk and lead discussions in the videography room and has probably followed him for good reason. Next tip is to be a strategic and bold networker. If you see someone that you've idolized and that you've liked their work and they happen to be on Clubhouse, which check this out, there are so many people that are on Clubhouse right now that I'm sure you've been watching their content for years, especially if you're in the, the video production space. Shout them out. Say, hey bro, hey sis, you're amazing. Now, why can you do this? It's because the current novelty of Clubhouse is actually creating this environment of openness which is closing the chasm between the little shots and the big shots. As far as in the rooms that I've been in, there haven't really been a sense of air or arrogance between you know industry veterans and people that are just starting out. It's actually a really cool, healthy environment in a lot of these rooms to actually gain great connections and healthy connections with people that you've probably been fans of for a long time. Last tip as far as effective networking is maybe actually starting a room yourself. This has been my experience and I've had so much fun. Maybe giving rooms like funny titles that'll you know catch people's curiosity or having titles that are covering topics that people are itching to talk about. Check this out. I did a room that was first called Music Video Should Start at $5,000. It was cool because I had a lot of music video directors that was like, oh yeah, we need to ramp music video budgets up. And then we had a bunch of artists that came in the room. They were like, no, Oh, you guys on you know in video production you guys always charge us too much for music videos music video prices should be a lot lower created a cool conversation got ramped up at times but we kind of evened it out and ended up being a really good discussion after that i just wanted to be funny so the next day i created a room called music video should start at a hundred thousand dollars because i was like dang we're gonna get some really angry artists coming in here and we did and it was amazing but what was even crazier is we ended up getting some big shot directors who actually regularly make music videos with that price range and it was awesome. We got um, Director X came, Daps came, Eve Rivera, Mimosa, Clarence Peters, Dammy Twitch. These are all legends as far as music video directors go. And it was crazy getting them all in the same room, being able to interact with all of us, with each other. It actually, I think it just created a special moment with a lot of us that I was like, dang, I hope this happens a lot more. This is such an only on Clubhouse moment. And guys, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. Follow your boy, Josh Olufemi, me, on Clubhouse, because guess what? We're gonna have a good time. We have been literally on Clubhouse, I think every day. Um, I already have, I feel like a good group of friends that we definitely have room to expand, take more people in, take all you guys in. It's amazing. Clubhouse is a cool app because it's a big app that feels small. Thanks so much guys for watching. Please make sure to share this video with every videographer, every video producer, video director, anyone in the video production space that you know. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and as always remember, Keep it chill.